Happy Saturday, guys. As I get on my chariot on my way to the Grove Mall to a pop-up event. And it is for the Philly Bra Lady. And I have to say, this setup is really nice. I'm loving the decor. Do you feel me? We got snacks. We got water. We got everything. And, uh, okay, bras. Duh. And I got to meet the owner. And she's amazing. She will tell you about herself. So, hi. I'm coming with the Philly Bra Lady. I am a professional bra and educator here in Philadelphia. And I Um, on our website they get automatically sent to them a questionnaire it's 10 questions they fill it out so I can have an idea of what has been going wrong like what their journey has been like mm -hmm. of course what size they're already wearing like when I asked you mm -hmm. and then we go on to ask them questions like where do they shop what are they looking for what's the thing that bothers them the most about their bras and that just helps me to prepare mentally as the fitter and sometimes also like inventory wise to kind of set the expectation of if they can leave with something or not okay then once they come typically it's a private appointment that lasts anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half mm -hmm. um, but of course because with the pop-up we have 30 minutes we don't have that extended amount oh my of time God. size it was a forever ago it was uh, from Lane Ryan okay and they told me a 52 G Damn! right I remember you sent that to yeah, me yeah but I don't wear that though most of my bras was double uh, well triple G God. Damn. Okay. And so, and I would get, they would give me, really, they don't even have G-cups. Like, they have G-cups, they don't have, like, the 52 part. So, you have to get the extenders in the back. Now, okay. lately, I've been buying my bras from Torrid. Okay. Which are a little bit better, but, like, the one I got on there, I took the wire, though, because I don't like that digging. Yeah. And I have the problem with the shoulders, too. Okay. You know, because, like, you know, they heavy, so yeah. pulling them up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's annoying. Trust yeah. me, I understand. I am here at the Philly Bra Ladies pop up shop, and I'm about to get signed for my proper bra. Okay. So, one more long, little sneaky top of the day. Got my crop stuff. I said I was rocking that in here. We want me to keep the girls on The wire for these. This is a tour bra, and um, yeah, and these bags hurt like a mother. But as you do, ready. Ready when you are. She took me up under her wing. Okay. So I'm just here to kind of like, right, I do do some bra fittings because it's more of a hands on type it of um, industry. Okay. And you and your hands. And okay. I have four tooth and nails. So I'm excited for her. Okay. Yeah, I saw her on, um, I saw her on Instagram and I was like, oh, well, let me see if I can reach out and come to the pop up and support. You know, oh, I love yes. like, um, yeah, anything, 
we just have that opulence about us that people just because I found out about her from my co-host on mm -hmm. the podcast, um, his name is Al, and because um, he's probably, he said, oh yeah, because I told him, like, I need a good bra, you know, the only thing is, I, 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 you know, I know bigger women, we like our boobs probably like down a little bit, because mm -hmm. when they're up here, yeah, it's kind of like, it should be, all, it should be should really sad, yeah, I, I'm all, excited for you to see what we get that, yeah, me too. And even like this mall is so different. Mm. I have I used to live in Lodro. Oh, okay. I live in Philly now, but when I lived up here, I used to work in like most of every store. Because <laughs> I, I went to high school, because I went to everything. And I lived in Roslyn, and I used to be in the mall all the time. I'm like, all oh, these stores is different. It's different. Is the layout different? Because I'm, it I'm is actually different. from um, the, like the Maryland DC area. The layout is still the same. The mm -hmm. stores, it's a lot of different stores. Like this was the photo spot. Nah, this wasn't here back. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm recording, but you can be in it. It's, no, it's fine. I just want. I didn't want to just <laughs> do like that. All right, so I'm gonna measure you in ten okay. places on your upper abdomen. Okay. We're gonna start in the back and work our way to the front. Okay. So I'm gonna have you move a little closer to them, and then we're gonna switch. All right. So, how old would you say this bra is? Probably a year. Okay. Yeah, and I actually I just found it in my drawer today. Okay. Not even on my. <laughs> so the band is a little looser uh -huh. than what I would like. Okay. The reason why I don't like that is because I feel like that is part of why we have the denim going on in the shoulders. Okay. Because the band isn't an anchor. It's not doing what is we need it to do. Yeah. And so the weight of the breast is falling here. Yeah. Because even touching it, I can feel the tension in the straps. And I need it to be up here. Yeah. Up. And that's the thing. Like it was that. a wire and I did take the wire. That's okay. okay. Even still, this part needs to be more secure mm -hmm. there. Okay. We can fix that in terms of just putting you in a wireless bra that is really, really secure. Wireless? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. I know. I you probably it. haven't come across no, it. No, I haven't. <laughs> but we have it, yes. Okay. So I want to put you in something wireless that is more supportive and going to give you more lift. Because what's this is not it. Oh, yeah. Also, <laughs> too... Because this is a t-shirt bra and there are no seams on the cup, mm. this breast here mm. is hanging out overneath of, yeah. over top of this. Yeah. We want to see that 80 pound weight loss, right? Okay. So if you see when I pull it up, yeah. you see how it comes in a little bit? Yeah. Well, when you're in something with a seam, the seam is going to pull it all the way forward mm. so that we can look a little bit more lean this way and bring the tissue forward here instead of out to the side like okay. that. This piece here, that's your gore. We need it to be up here so we can have the girls separate. Yeah. So even if we're trying to be sexy and seductive or what have you, we want to show the cleavage. Mm -hmm. Cleavage is about how low this neckline is going to be, okay. right? Not necessarily showing this line. Yeah. We want them, even though they're not really touching, we want to make sure that each one is in their cup because when they're in the cup properly, they can lift and be supported properly that way as well. Okay. Thicker straps, of course, so yeah. that we can get more support going on here. So I like to point those things out first before we no, start to measure. Understand. All right, so keep your hand straight down by your side. Okay. Okay, 22. 22. Okay. Yeah, shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was in your hand. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You know how you move like lightning. <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. And then. Are you said 22? Yes. Four. So when we start from the bottom up, so around the back, shoulder to shoulder is 22. Mm -hmm. Then here, nape to waist is yep. 17. 17, yes. All right, Tasha, I'm going to come in front of you. Okay. Okay, across the chest mm -hmm. is 21 and a half. Yep. Bust to bust is 14. Bust to bust mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. 14. Mm 
And our right is 16. Mm -hmm. Our left is also 16. Okay. Both arms up like this one. Bruh. Okay, so that's the 61. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to do around the chest. We did a cross earlier, now we're going to do around. So that's 50 and a half. Or 51. Okay, Tosh, so now I want you to take your thumbs, put them underneath of the stripes, both mm -hmm. of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Lift all the way up for me. So you see how we have a little bit of loop coming out the bottom? Yeah. When that happens, that means that the band is too loose. 51. 51. All right, you can have a seat for a new car. So with the band, or the rib cage band of 51, then what we're going to do is go to the 52. Okay. Now, the bras that I have are a little bit more um, sturdy with a little bit more compression, mm -hmm. but I want to see how it feels first. Because okay. what you have on now is the 54. Now, the 54 could be best. That's possible. Mm -hmm. However, this has a lot more stretch in the band than what the bras that I'm going to bring out are going to have. Okay. So, you just let me know how it feels. I know, usually how I put my bra on, I put it over my knee. Like I strap it together and put it on my knee. Oh. Because I can never, I can't strap them in the back. No, I don't want you strapping in the back. Okay. I want you to hook it in the front and then turn it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Only reason why I'm saying that also is because if it's enough space, right, for you to go over this, this mm -hmm. is wider than this. Yeah. So if you can do that, that means that it's going to be too wide okay. here. Okay. So from now on, hook it in the front and then twist it around. All right. All right, so we want to grab some things. We'll be like that. Okay. All right. no I'm going to keep this door cracked because it gets a little warm in here. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Got some gumminess for me. Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna help you. Um, I'll start with the black one. I'm gonna help you out of this and then okay. into this. Hi, Miss Parker. When you gonna let me fuck, Miss Parker? What if I'm strapless for someone of my cause I want I wanna wear like dresses and you know with off the shoulder. Is there a strapless bra for a woman of my size? Emotional, damn it! So I can never wear, <laughs> so I can never wear a strapless dress. Mm. 
you can you can use blue tea. That don't work. So you have to get the right one. Okay. There are only two that I like. Pots of honey, which is black owned. Okay. There's a new one that I want to test out. It's called K and Boobies. They're made from Louisiana, also black owned. Okay. Those ones are ones that I know work. Okay. The other ones, not so much. I mean, I've worked them and I kind of had to like tape it around. Yes. So you have to learn how to tape so from you your brush tape. tape. Yes. <laughs> Until you learn how to do it on your own, you need assistance, in my opinion. Okay. One person to hold, oh. another one to tape. <laughs> my personal, ever so humble opinion. But yes, and the main reason why is because of the band. So it's not the cup because I have uh, shareless prize that go up to a J cup. Okay. It's the band. Most of them stop at a most stop at a forty forty two. The one I have only goes up to forty six. Okay. And what about um, like the one the bra with the cleavage? That if you do want cleavage, do you have anything of that? Not for wireless, but if you're willing to do a wire, yes, we have a lot. I mean, I could try one. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, we have ones that um, plunge without the wire, mm -hmm. um, but not as low. Okay. Yeah, because most of the time, the reason why they don't do it is because they are trying to take up the slack of not having the wire mm -hmm. with coverage and sturdiness. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I can try one, like, just to see the difference between this kind and, you know, one. So, I think we sold it last, at the last pop-up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, you know, it's fine. You know. That's right. Once again, your girl was throwing hot stuff. Don't you like this purple? Mm, I nice drink. So yeah. <laughs> I have to say this was a great experience and I'm glad that I did it and here's to you. Have a great day.